Virus and infection doesn't care what status you have in your life. Either you are a rich or poor, fit or physically challenging, educator, politician, elderly, mother, head of the family, newborn baby, or even persons with comorbidity, and worst, even you are in the bed of care. Today, the deadliest enemy of the world is the killer virus that spread rapidly and unmanageable. The target is our immune system that doesn't beat back. The virus attacks the lungs where it can turn deadly, spread thinner to the distant branches of the lungs and to respiratory tree. Please watch this video for another helpful hints and do share to your friends someone there to you, family, and to your community. I wish everyone a blessed life, healthy and happy family. And always arm yourself with correct information. Hi everyone, this is Pinoy here, a certified healthcare provider. I am handling private patients with challenging health condition. And in this channel, I love sharing valuable informations that are essential and helpful to everyone. If you're new here, consider subscribe and ring the bell button so that every time I publish new video, you'll get notified. Immune system is our body protection. They preserve our body healthy. They recognize when there is harmful virus or infections that get in in our body. And the immune system responds what they feel accordingly. Our immune system is incredibly complex. It has to be strong enough and sophisticated to fight off the variety of illnesses and infections. Our immune system can be weakened by smoking, alcohol overconsumption, and poor nutrition. Acquired viral infection that destroys important white blood cells and weaken the immune system. People with low immune system become seriously ill with infections that most people can fight off. Many are unsure of their immune system status and are frantically seeking ways to boost their immune system. They want to get this virus or infections they accidentally get exposed. I genuinely want you to understand how the underlisted signs and symptoms help you understand and empower you to make necessary changes. There are two important things to remember. There are people who have low immune system that they don't get sick and others experiencing and showing symptoms that's why they get sick. Today, you start evaluating yourself which one you are in the two that mentioned. May this serves to you as a strong reminder and to be cautious about your health. Constantly feel tired. You are doing everything to stay refreshed on top of your game. Pero ang pakiramdam mo, lagi kang pagod at parang magkakasakit. Sleeping is not your hobby, yet gusto mo laging nakahiga. Midday, you are tired and very low energy. You are unproductive, disorganized, and sometimes no good appetite, and etc. 
your immune system is reminding you that it is struggling. When there is an active infection, our immune system is in high demand. In this state, the immune system pulls on other resources of energy to perform optimally. Ang sobrang aktividad ay maging dahilan ng pamamaga at kadalasan ay siya ang pinagmumulan ng impeksyon. Ugaliin at sanayin ang sarili sa pagkain ng masustansyang pagkain at iwasan ang mga pagkain na high fatty foods, artificial drinks, sweets, at mga prosesong pagkain. Always give what your body needs and try to reassess your health with the help of professionals. Assessment help you to find the cause of your health concerns to keep you safe by identifying areas of risk or deterioration in your health. Assessment may include a list of questions to complete. These are used to work out whether there is problems and apply the plan of care of your concerns. Tummy aches and diarrhea. Tummy upset and diarrhea can be a sign of weakened immunity. Did you know that typhoid fever is a bacterial infection that can spread throughout the body, affecting many organs without prompt treatment? It can cause serious complications. And it can be fatal. It caused by bacterium or salmonella typhi, where it's related to bacteria that cause salmonella or food poisoning. Do you find yourself taking bubble disorder medications open to curbs diarrheal episodes? If you have this along with a frequent constipation, it could be a sign of a weak immune system. This is because you are caught or intestinal microorganisms play a huge role in regulating your overall immune balance. These healthy microorganisms help protect the gut against infection by sending necessary signals to the immune system, particularly white blood cells. But when these healthy microbes get destroyed, bad microbes overpopulate, irritates the gut and cause tummy aches and other abdominal problems. Common cause of diarrhea is bacteria from contaminated food and water, viruses such as flu, norovirus or rotavirus. Rotavirus is the most common cause of the active diarrhea in children. Parasites, which are tiny organisms found in contaminated food and water. Food intolerances and sensitivities, which problem digesting certain ingredients or food, like lactose intolerance. Disease that affects the stomach, small intestine, colon, such as Crohn disease. Next is problem with how the colon function, such as irritable bowel syndrome. Easily catch cough and colds. If you get cold, cough, runny nose, or catch the flu more than twice a year, you may need to work on strengthening your immunity. Different types of virus and bacteria cause common colds and catchy coughs. Rhinoviruses are the commonest and at best. When infected, your body is capable of fighting them off without showing symptoms. Maraming tao ang nasa paligid na may mahinang immune system, ngunit hindi sila nakikitaan ng sakit. 
kung ano mang nararamdaman. May mga ilang nakakaramdam ng naging pagod, ngunit pag nakapagpahinga, ay bumabalik ng maayos ang pakiramdam. Sakit ng ulo paminsan, at sa tulong ng gamot, ito ay naiinsan. At may mga tao ang hindi nakikitaan ng pagiging may sakit, lalo na't walang sintomas. Kaya karamihan ay hindi pinapansin dahil sa walang itang sinyalit na mahinang immune system. Kaya hindi dahilan na wala kang nararamdaman ay basta mo na lang pababayaan. In general, they think being sick is an expression of a weakened immune system that wasn't able to withstand the attack of an offending organisms. Feel stressed or burned out. The higher the amount of stressor in your life, the more likely you have weak immune system. Hormones cortisol lower your lymphocytes or T cells response. Stress can be defined as any type of change that causes physical, emotional, or psychological strain. Stress is your body response to anything that requires attention and action. Pandemic is the excellent example. Big names in the industry declares closure of businesses. For example, you are an executive and head of the family. You will be in trouble because you are the provider of the family. You get more stressed and you are thinking a lot of things until it affects your mental health. Pandemic is challenging, but there is beauty in innovation and can create brilliant ideas. Most companies declare closure. But hey, there are individuals who have opportunity to make business. There are 100 ways of solutions is available. Just think positive. It is important to reduce the amount of stress you are exposed to. So, you do not lower your immune response to infections and other diseases. Your wound heal slower. The immune system plays a central role in the skin wound healing. Wound healing can be delayed by systemic factors that bears a little or no direct relation to the location of the wound itself. This includes AIDS, body type, chronic disease, immunosuppression, nutritional status, radiation therapy, and vascular insufficiencies. Kakulangan sa vitamin D ay isang dahilan ng mabagal na proseso sa pagaling. Upang maayos na mabawi ang katawan, dapat itong magkaroon ng tamang balanse ng vitamina, nutrisyon, at iba pang mahalagang elemento. Ito ay isang mahalaga para sa pagpapagaling ng sugat. When your skin is exposed to sunlight, it makes vitamin D from cholesterol. The sun's ultraviolet rays hits cholesterol in the skin cells, providing the energy for vitamin D synthesis to occur. Vitamin D has many roles in the body and it's essential for the optimal health. Normal blood circulations can resume and wound healing can occur. It's important to understand the reasons why a wound won't heal. Poor circulation, edema, insufficient nutrition, and repetitive trauma consequently. Any interruption in this process results in poor wound healing. It would be awesome if we could boost their immunity for a healthy body to form antibodies against and invading organisms.
muscles and joint ache often. Chronic joint and muscles ache are very much linked to one's immune system when the immune system has to fight off infection. It produces a lot of inflammatory chemicals and white blood cells. But the immune system weakens and inflammation continues. These monocytes get depleted and help regulate the immune system. Sa paglipas ng panahon habang nagkakaedad sa isang banda, ito ay nagkakaroon ng kirot sa kasukasuan. Kasunod nito ay ang pamamaga. Ito ay ang autoimmune na nangyayari kung saan na naikipaglaban ang immune system laban sa katawan at sa paglipas ng panahon ay pinapahina nito at humahantong sa malubhang pamamaga. Sa tulong ng chiropractic care ay pinapalakas ang immunity para maalagaan inyong kasukasuan, muscles at nerve laban sa mga nakakasirang microorganisms. It also helps emphasize the body ability to heal itself. Treatment typically involves manual therapy, often including spinal manipulation, other forms of treatment such as exercise, and nutritional counseling may be used as well. You get frequent infections. Your immune system may be sending you a signal that it is struggling. You can acquire an infection in many different ways, such as directly from a person's sudden infections, via contaminated food or water, and even though the bites of an insect. It is not normal to be treating something in your health repeatedly within a year. Sa madaling talita o sa palagay mo na may sakit ka at nararamdaman, ang pangangailangan ng madalas na makita ang inyong doktor ay nagpapahiwatig sa iyong katawan. Hindi magagawang labanan ang mga nakakahawang mikroorganismo. Isang malinaw na tanda ng isang mahinang immune system. Kailangan mong i-work out ang pagpapalakas ng iyong immune system at gumawa ng mga pagbabago sa iyong katayuan at kalusugan. You develop a sudden high fever. Fever is the result of an immune system response by your body to a foreign invaders like viruses, bacteria, fungi, drugs, or other toxins. It is a signal that your immune system is sending you a message that there is something happening in your body that needs to address to fight off these infections occurring from your immune system reactions. Tungkulin ng immune system ang ipagtanggol ang ating katawan laban sa mga microorganismo na sanhi ng sakit. Ang layunin nito ay upang mapanatiling malusog ang ating katawan, ngunit isang malawak at komplikadong magkakaugnay na network ng maraming iba't ibang organo, cells or cellula at protina na nagtutulungan upang proteksyonan ang katawan mula sa sakit. Ang isang malusog na immune system ay maaaring talunin ang pagsalakay ng mga mikrobyo na nagdudulot ng sakit, tulad ng bacteria, virus, parasito, pati na rin ang mga cells ng cancer, habang pinoprotektahan ang malusog na tissue kung paano tayo matutulungan na protektahan ng ating mga katawan ay mahalaga sa paglaban sa ating kalusugan. Always have skin problem. Your skin is your body's largest organ. It covers 
and protect your body. Our skin holds the body fluids and preventing dehydration. Keep harmful microbes and preventing infections. It helps us feel things like heat, cold, and pain. Our skin keeps our body temperature even. Our skin makes vitamin D when the sun shines on it. Anything that irritates, clogs, or inflames your skin can cause symptoms such as redness, swelling, burning, and itching. Allergies, irritants, your genetic makeup, and certain diseases and immune system problem can cause rashes, hives, and other skin condition. Many skin problems such as acne also affects your skin. Our skin is the reflection of our immune system. Our skin tissue contains fats compound called lipids. The lipids are unable to work efficiently when there's presence of infections. In effect, water leaves the skin, leaving it dry and cracked up allowing unwanted bacteria, fungi, to enter the skin's causing acne and eczema. Thus, if you find your skin flaking, itchy, dry, or develop boils easily, Make sure your immune system is strong again. Always on medication. Chronic self-medications weakens immunity. It is not healthy to be always taking one's medication or the other to relieve symptoms that keep resurfacing. Chronic use of antibiotics can cause diarrhea. Too much paracetamol lead to liver issues. And said meds lead to kidney problems and ulcerations. Our immune system is built perfectly to help us fight up germs without needing external help such as help of medications. Fortunately, in identifying these deficiencies, there is great hope of strengthening it. All medicines can cause unwanted side effects, so please ask your professionals to help you strengthen your immunity and your body. Living a healthier lifestyle means Lower risk of developing illnesses. Thanks for watching this video. Another helpful tips unlocked. Please don't forget to share to your family, friends, someone dear to you, and to your community. And please apply what you have learned today. If you learned something in this video, please comment your thoughts below. Press the like button and share to your loved ones and consider subscribe for more helpful videos like this and be kind to one another spread love and helpful information and not hate god didn't give another day to your life because you needed it he did it because someone out there needs you God bless everyone.